We've got pig news right now out of Pennsylvania, and it concerns Kevin Bacon. Right now, you're looking at a pet pig named Kevin Bacon, which, before we go any further, I just want to point out how off-putting it is to name your pet after the food it becomes. It's like naming your cow McDouble, or your shrimp, shrimp. Or if when I was born, my parents named me Greg Long Pig. Why Long Pig? Well, that's apparently a mid 19th century translation of an expression used by cannibals from the South Pacific, meaning human flesh used as food. Some think that humans taste like pork. I myself wouldn't know, I'm not much of a people person. And according to this 1882 report from the pilot, America's oldest Catholic newspaper, on the cannibal islands of Fiji, long pig was at times made into puddings. And a favorite form of revenge was to collect and insult the bones of the enemy, powder them, and serve them up to the survivors when peace had been made and celebrated. This sounds an awful lot like that scene out of Titus Andronicus or that episode of South Park, but whatever it is, if your boss invites you over to a dinner party for a feast of long pig, you better make up a story about the babysitter. Anyway, this story isn't about Kevin Bacon the long pig. This story is about Kevin Bacon the pig. He definitely enjoyed the cat and mouse game. So this is the owner of Kevin Bacon the pig. They acquired the 200 pound pig on October 13th after he needed to be rehomed due to feeding costs. At first, our pig made use of his pen. And he went right in the pen, no problem. Until the next day when he got the hell out of there. He uh, rooted underneath a post and removed it from the ground and then went under that area of the fence. And Kevin Bacon didn't just disappear into the city for an evening. Like when Kevin Bacon stole that cab in planes, trains, and automobiles. This thing went missing for weeks, and this entire Pennsylvania community came together to try to catch the guy. We, we got a net, he stepped around it. At the slightest crunch of a branch or a tree or leaves, uh, he would book it. Not only did the owners of Kevin Bacon the Pig start a Facebook page called Bring Kevin Bacon Home, Kevin Bacon the Long Pig even posted a thread about it, writing, Bring Kevin Bacon Home. In the comments, Chick80 wrote, I would love Kevin Bacon's autograph, the pig, not the actor. Brad B26 said, I'm on team freedom for Kevin, to be honest. And Priscilla Farrell lightened the mood to say, it will be sensational when all those enthused stop contributing to the killing of the 1.3 billion pigs each year in the US for food, bacon. Seems criminal. Anyway, in spite of that buzzkill, the pig's owners were thrilled to have the star of Hollow Man voice his support. That was wild for me. There is an open invitation to Kevin Bacon anytime he wants to come out. Finally, after weeks on the lamb, the pig's owners did what anyone desperate for their missing pet would do. They took a page out of that season three episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, where Larry and Richard try to bake a brownie full of Benadryl to trick Richard's ill Christian scientist girlfriend into taking medicine. In this case, the owner stuck some pet safe Benadryl into a sticky bun and that did the trick. Did it perhaps take the edge off enough for him to wander a little more freely? I think so. He had walked right into the pen and all I had to do was shut the door behind him. I also need to point out that this pig story isn't the only instance of a celebrity named after an animal that's been in the news recently. As your news refresh told you last month, a dog named Brett Michaels, like the poison, donated blood to a cat to keep it alive. And after Brett Michaels heard about Brett Michaels, Brett Michaels reached out to the people who had Brett Michaels to ask them if Brett Michaels would be willing to make his way over to Brett Michaels. The person, I think. Anyway, after the pig was drugged against its will, the owners reinforced the pen with concrete so it can't tunnel out again. Kevin Bacon the pig, much like Kevin Bacon the long pig, is believed to have a long and fruitful life ahead of it. I do think he has a life of stardom ahead of him. Uh, we have plans for, for our property to open a open to the public farm and offer services for um, children and adults who struggle with PTSD, anxiety, depression, and uh, you know, Kevin is going to be here for all of that too. Hear that Kevin Bacon? Sounds like he'll be sticking around as a Kevin for quite some time. Until, of course, the bacon part.